and we're here on a nice Thursday morning to get to know the new CEO of one of the most important organizations in the region, Lee Higginbotham. Welcome, Lee. Thank you, Jerry. Appreciate it. And you're relatively new here, Lee. You've, you've got a couple hundred employees. You have a, a big challenge in being the, the top man at the local hospital. What, what are your goals here? What do you see for uh, your biggest challenges and what's in the future for the local hospital? Yeah, thank you. Um, you know, I've had a tremendous uh, welcome. It's been very easy transition for me coming from Northern Virginia uh, back to to this area that that uh, where I went to went to college and my wife grew up, uh, so it's been a nice homecoming of sorts for us. And you know, as I look at at this this region, this area, and, and you know, Lewis Gale, Allegheny, uh, you know, the folks that I've been able to meet with so far in the community and here, um, it, it's it's I've been impressed. Let me just put it that way. I, we've got some great great individuals that work here at the hospital and and. The folks that I've been able to meet in the community have been uh, welcoming to me, and and uh, it's it's made it as I said for an easy transition. You know, as I look at at, at Lewis Gale Allegheny and the opportunities that we have, you know, one thing that, that I would would like to point out, and one of the things that impressed me, has been the, the quality of care in this region. So. Uh, in April, uh, Lewis Gale Allegheny was recognized by LeapFrog with an A rating for patient safety. Um, and, and then most recently also recognized by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services with a five-star rating. And we actually have another ranking that's, that's coming out uh, shortly. It's embargoed right now. I really can't discuss it too much. But my, my point in sharing that is, is is what a gem in the mountains. Someone used that term recently to describe us, and I really like the sound of that. But you know, the, the community should be very proud of, of Lewis Gale Allegheny Hospital and the, and the patient safety and the care that's provided here uh, is exceptional and, and, and is ranked and rated among the best in, in, in the U.S. Uh, so that's that's one of the things that has really, um, you know, been been pleasing to, to hear and understand, and I've seen it firsthand and have been very um, uh, impressed with with that so far. Uh, one of the other things that I, I look at is, um, and, and a goal that I have is to keep patients in our community, um, and so there are challenges with that, of course, and, and the size of our community, and and. You know, making sure we've got the right uh, provider coverage here in the area, and, and we've been able to shore some of that up here most recently. One of the other exciting pieces is we have a new family nurse practitioner who's starting uh, in mid-June. He'll be in our Covington location, uh, Joe Rinaldi, uh, in, in our Covington office. And so really excited about that, and, and again, bringing you know, additional primary care uh, coverage to this, to this area that, that supports the community, but also supports a lot of our, our specialists and, and subspecialists that, that uh, we have here at the hospital, but also come from, from uh, the Roanoke area to, for clinics here at uh, Lewis Gale Allegheny. Well, you've got more than two decades of experience in the hospital business. You're not a fresh kid out of college. So with that kind of experience of people are, you know, excited that you've taken on this job and in an added plus is your wife is from Buena Vista mm -hmm. and folks may or may not know you're also a Hokie. Right. Yeah. So, you know, I, 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 I tell people I grew up in Charlottesville, Virginia, in that area. And you know, when it came time to to go to college, I wanted to get a real education, so I went to Virginia Tech for that. Um, but but yeah, it, it it it's 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 nice to to be back in this region, and, and uh, the area is obviously beautiful. I'm a I'm an outdoor guy. I, I enjoy mountain biking and fly fishing, and, and this area obviously provides a lot of that. Some of the best in the East Coast, so. I'm really thrilled about that, but the opportunity itself here at Lewis Gale Allegheny to be a part of that, and uh, you know the, the the rich history that that there is. You know, I you know before I got here, you know Lewis Gale Allegheny had, had been around for decades um, and, and has a tremendous story, and, and you know the hospital and, and Lewis Gale Allegheny will be here after I I've gone, but you know my 
my, as I look at, you know, what's the story, what chapter am I going to write and the, the legacy that is here and, and, you know, what a wonderful asset it is to this community. And I recognize that, that it is a key employer, uh, that, it, that it's special to the community and, and folks do and it should take pride in the fact that Lewis Gallagheny is, is here. It, it's, it's, it's a, it's a economic driver. Um, you know, here in the community and, and the fact that, that not only the jobs that we provide and, and the local businesses that we support, but, but also the, the taxes that we pay here in, in, in the county and the region. Um, you know, outside of that too is, is, is far as growing and, and, and bringing new business into the community. That, that's also a key, key driver in, in this area. And so I recognize and realize how important that is. And, and the role that we play, and, and I look forward to being involved in the community and, and sitting on boards and, and, and working with the other local leaders to, to really push uh, Allegheny County and, and this region, the Allegheny Highlands, and, and uh, that's something that's important to me and I, and I like to be able to give back and in this, this whole notion of, of um, you know, being a citizen. I think that's an extremely important piece and, and as a new CEO, I look forward to being being a part of that growth here in this region. Lee, among the challenges for uh, rural hospitals is retention of services and specifically staff like doctors who have various specialties. How do rural hospitals deal with this uh, kind of a situation where the demand seems to be huge and the attraction for some of the more urban areas seems to be growing for some of them? Is, is that a tough part of running a rural hospital, or is that uh, relative shortage easing a bit? Yeah, you know, it, it, it can be a challenge, and, and there's no question about that. I think, you know, if, if anything that we learn from, from COVID-19 and the pandemic is, you know, the, the quick and, and fast adoption that, that many healthcare providers uh, had to take with regards to telemedicine. And, and I think that's something that it's going to be here to, to stay. I think it provides value. I, my, my, my previous roles, I've, I've been involved with that. And, and, I, and I think even for here, um, that that is, is, is an opportunity for us to, to really adopt um, that technology and, and allow for, you know, to keep, as I mentioned earlier, to keep patients in this area and, and here at the hospital. And, and with that, the, that connectivity, you know, back to a, a say a subspecialist who, who you, quite honestly, we're, we're not going to have the, the patient volumes or the base to support someone here full time. But if you leverage technology, you can make that connection and provide that level of care and service to, to patients here in the community. So that's, that's something that, that um, I'm focused in on. And, and you know, Lewis Gale Allegheny is, is part of HCA Healthcare. And, and you know, with HCA Healthcare, you have scope and scale. And the scope and scale that that provides is, is access to that technology, access to those specialists, and, and creating um, you know, really a, a, a top-notch program, even though you may not have a, a doctor or, or a provider touching somebody, but they're providing exceptional care through telemedicine technology. And so, you know, what's important there, uh, not just for the hospital, but for the region, is making sure that we have good, you know, connectivity, that we have broadband coverage, that we have uh, internet accessibility to our community and to, to folks here so that they can, you know, reach those services. We obviously have it here at the hospital, but, you know, in this in this area, in our communities, it, it's it's vitally important for that to be in place as well to, to, to really adopt technology like what we're discussing here and, and you know, future focus for us here at, at Lewis Gale Allegheny. Lee, one of the things that the average member of the public may not uh, understand is significant is the fact that hospitals, especially rural hospitals, need to get reimbursement in many cases from the federal and state government for services. So a guy like you with a couple decades of experience of administration probably knows how to do that. But that has been, at least in the last few years, a pretty huge challenge, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it can be. And I, and I think, you know, um, I learned a long time ago that, that you, you provide the services and you, you take care of the, the folks you know the other things tend tend to work out if you do the right things, and, and so 
again, I, you know, I, I fall back on you know, being part of HCA Healthcare in the scope and scale that that does allow us um, to have you know good relationships with with local and state government, with federal government. It allows us to have good relationships with third-party providers and as well as our our uh, other stakeholders in, in the community and the region, employers as well. And so. You know that does give us the opportunity to 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 do that, and and again, as I said, some of the scope and scale and the, and the economies that that creates, you know, it, it does allow us to, um, um, you know, have better expense management and control of, of, of costs and expenses that, that allow us to do other things. And as I mentioned, to to provide you know certain services and and, and to to do other. Um, uh, have other relationships that that we can be, a, you know, a good provider in the community for regardless of the one's ability to, to to pay or not. And lastly, are there any new programs, any new facilities, any growth plans? Are you're brand new, so this yeah. is kind of uh, asking a bit much of you. But you do know, have the new physicians facility yeah. in Covington. Uh, anything on the drawing board that the public may uh, like to know about? Yeah, I, I think you know we'll, we're going to continue to grow and expand, and, and as I was sort of mentioning earlier, really focusing in on um, shoring up our provider base and having a good uh, primary care coverage, but also looking at some other specialties that we can bring either here into our clinics or to provide um, you know through through telemedicine uh, type services. Um, yeah, and so that's that's really an area that I think we're we're focused in on. Um, as I mentioned, you know the quality of care that that's being provided here that, that we're all very proud of. Um, you know, kind of look forward to to some new announcements around um, our, our patient safety scores and and, and rankings here nationally. Um, and, and so those are some of the things I think we're really excited about. Um, and and um, you know we're beginning to see some return in, uh, from. From COVID, for a long time, I think folks were afraid to to come to hospitals and to seek healthcare. I would encourage folks not to do that any longer. Please don't, please don't let it let it go. Come to the, come get get the care that you need. Come to the ER, visit your doctor, um, and and uh, as, as those volumes continue to, to return and grow, I, I think we'll see some more exciting things happening here. At, Lewis Gale Allegheny. I'm really proud to be a, a part of that and to be a part of this team and, and to work with this, this great group of men and women who are professionals and dedicated to providing exceptional care. Thanks very much for taking the time to speak with us today. Yeah, thank you, Jerry. It's a pleasure meeting you too.